Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Adam. Today I'm going to show you uh, basically how to create a portfolio on Behance. So Behance is, uh, you know, is a great way to showcase your work on, you know, to go a global audience. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. First of all, sign up with your account. So whether you are using a Google account or even uh, another like Apple or Microsoft, whatever it might be, or using your own personal email, well, what you're gonna do, you're gonna sign up your account. Now, what you're gonna do uh, after you signed up, you're gonna complete your Behance profile by clicking right here, the Behance profile, right? Uh, once signed in, click on your profile picture, um, you know, or icon, and in the top right corner, and then select profile. Fill out the profile details such as your name, a profile picture, a short bio, a location, and any other relevant, uh, you know, information, right? Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna create a new uh, project. So what you're gonna do in order to uh, basically showcase your portfolio is to create, of course, a new project. So click on right here, share project, build a completely case study right here to create a project button located on your profile or the home page. You'll be taken to a project editor where you can upload images, videos, text, or other content related to the project you are presenting. Drag and drop your files into the editor or click upload files to add them, right? So now customize your project layout. Of course, this is like in details. Arrange your content in the order that best showcase your work. Behance offers various layout options, including grid, columns, and full width images. Uh, using these to make your project visually appealing, and you can add descriptions, process images, or any relevant text to provide context to your work. And then you're gonna add project tags, you know, to help your uh, project uh, get discovered by the right audience. Add relevant tags, you know, to your work, such as graphic design, photography, illustration, right? And now after you finish, you're gonna can save, your, save it as a draft to get back to it uh, later or schedule, uh, you know, this project to actually publish it in a certain time or whatever it might be. And after you publish, uh, once you're satisfied, uh, satisfied with how your project looks, click publish in the top right corner. You'll be prompted to add title, project co cover, in a brief description before publishing. These elements are crucial as they are the first things uh, people will see. Now, you're gonna share your portfolio. After uh, publishing, uh, basically, uh, what you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna be able right here, uh, to share, you're gonna be able to share your projects on social media or via link or uh, to reach a wider audience. You can also embed your Behance or uh, projects on your personal website or other platforms. As you can see right here, this is my project and I can share it to whoever and you know, whoever I want, right? And now what you're gonna do, you're gonna engage with the community. Behance is not just a portfolio site, it's a community. Engage with others by liking, commenting, and following other uh, creatives, all right? And then joining creative networks or group uh, groups related to your field can also increase your visibility, right? And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna just be consistent, right? Keep your portfolio updated with the new projects to reflect your latest work. Consider uh, revisiting, uh, revisiting old project, uh, revisit uh, old projects or removing these that no longer represent your best work. And by following these steps, you can create a compelling Behance portfolio that effectively uh, showcase your creative work to potential clients, employers, and collaborators. So let me know in the comments if this video helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell to receive every video we upload. Thank you for watching.